everyone, welcome to a new episode of Crafting with Cosplay Fabrics. My name is Indra and today I'm going to show you how to make these EVA foam ram horns. I'll leave you guys the pattern that I use and it does have some instructions, but I did want to show you how I made them. So I already cut out my pattern, I'm simply tracing it with a metallic sharpie and I'm also making sure to put all of the notches and to make sure that I do both mirror pieces that way I have a ram horn for each side. I'm making sure to also transfer all the notches on the inside of the pattern that way when I cut it out I can still see the notches and I'm just using a regular exacto knife for a very clean edge and this really gives me the nicest cut and I think it's the easiest for this particular project. Once I have all of the pieces cut out I'm going to then go ahead and place a wax paper for easy cleanup and I'm going to be using some contact cement to glue these ram horns together. So what I'm going to do is just simply brush the contact cement onto all of the edges that I want together. And once I leave it for a few minutes and you can see that it's kind of like tacky but it's not like super sticky, that's when you know that it's ready. So once I have both pieces together. I start to line up all of the notches and it's very easy with a craft foam to put this together because you can just like push or pull however you need to to just like match up the notches. So as you can see it does help to uh, mark those notches on the inside because that way it's uh, really easy to see them. And don't worry if it's not too perfect. It's gonna be so detailed afterwards that it won't matter if the edges aren't like super clean, but as you can see, it's very, very easy to kind of put it together. And if you need to, you can always use more glue. For the texturing, I'm just going to be using a wood burner and I'm using a very thin tip and I'm just drawing some lines across the horn. The Some of them are maybe an inch or two inches apart from each other, just kind of eyeballing it. And I'm making those first ones really, really deep. I'm going over them a bunch of times. And once I like it, I'm going to go with some really, really thin and like fast strokes to do some squiggle lines and some dots. You can just do this very sporadically. It doesn't have to be like anything in particular. And as you can see, it creates a really beautiful texture and it makes it super awesome afterwards when we paint it. So I hope that you join me for part two where I show you how I painted this. I hope that you guys like this. Again, if you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope you like and subscribe and I'll see you next week for another tip trick or tutorial featuring cosplay fabrics. See ya!